Welcome to this brief demonstration of how you can use the Supplemental Data Manager to manage the collection of the supplementary information for your year-end accounts. I'm Chiara, part of Deloitte, and today I'm going to show you how to collect and insert the information for the Director's Remuneration and Transactions note to the accounts. This is one of the notes required by regulators as part of the statutory year-end accounts. When I log in to FCCS, you can see that I have an open task in December 2016. When I click on this, I'll be taken to the supplemental data note, which has been assigned to me by the administrator. You can see that the status of this note is currently with assignee. In SDM terms, the assignee is the person who needs to enter the data from secondary sources, such as external spreadsheets or management information held within the company. When I click on the Director's Remuneration and Transactions note, this opens up the supplemental data form which has been assigned to me. You can see that my role is the preparer and the status is currently in progress. You can also see that in the workflow, an integrator is assigned. In SDM parlance, the integrator is the person who, once data has been entered by the preparer, checks this data and loads it up to the main FCCS cube. Now, in this case, you can see that I've been assigned as the user for both the preparer and the integrator roles. However, you could assign those to different people. And in fact, this would be best practice to ensure that somebody else was approving the work that I'd done. However, in this case, for the simplicity of the demonstration, I have assigned myself to both roles. Now to enter the data into the supplemental data form. When I click on the first tab, the Director's Details tab, you can see that I can add rows depending on how many directors I have. In this case, my company has two directors, so I will add two rows. The director ID reference could be a personnel reference or some other code to ensure that if we did have two directors with the same name, then we wouldn't be confusing their records. I'm now going to enter my director's first and last name details. Once I've input the names, I press Save. What that does is it saves the information I've entered down to the Supplemental Data Manager. However, it also passes it through to other tabs on this form so that I don't need to enter the same data two or three times. In fact, when you see we move to the Director's Remuneration tab, the names and ID references have already been entered so that I can just go ahead and enter the information for different types of remuneration which my directors might have received over the last year. Once I've finished inputting all the data required, I once again press Save. As you can see, not only does this save that data down to the Supplemental Data Manager, it also calculates totals for all directors, so I can then compare these against my external records. Moving on to the third tab then now, this is, shows the director's further awards. These are, for example, whether the director was a member of a defined benefit pension scheme or whether they've exercised their share options within the last year. You can see that the administrator has, in this case, given me yes, no options to answer these questions. In this way, Supplemental Data Manager allows me not only to collect the numeric data to do with numerations, but also information for further qualitative purposes, which should be included within the notes to the final accounts. When I, as the preparer, am happy that all of the information that I've entered is correct, I click here to submit that data. This data is then passed up to the integrator. If I close out of the form, you can see here that when I refresh, the status of the form has changed to with integrator. When, as the integrator, I click to open the form, you can see that I can click through the tabs to see the information that has been entered by the preparer. However, I cannot now change this 
as I do not have write access on the form. If I feel that the numbers are incorrect or require amendment, I can click here to reject the form and send it back to the preparer for them to amend. Alternatively, if, as in this case, I'm happy with the numbers and data that have been entered, then I can press here to post that data to the main FCCS cube. You can see that, as before, I have read access to this supplemental data as entered. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration of how you can use Supplemental Data Manager to control the information that you require for the notes to the year-end accounts in an easily editable, manageable and auditable way.